Hello, Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. I'm coming to you from the nationally designated historic community of Marble Hill. It's a neighborhood that I live in. I've chosen to raise my kids here. I've lived in Baltimore City for quite some time, and I've decided to stay here because of my amazing neighbors. I am a long-term investor in this city. My kids are invested in the growth of this city. I'm making this video to really talk about responsible development and what's going on in Baltimore City. I live in one of these beautiful row homes. I love my home and I love my community. Many of these row homes have been left um, empty for quite some time. Why responsible development? Because it's important to us. We've invested here in the Marble Hill community. We love our community and we love our neighbors. We want a safe community. We want to continue. We are already strong. We want to continue to grow strong but we need the right support. We need the right development. We no longer need developers to come in here and chop up these multi-units into so many units that you are really oversaturating one building. Currently on the 1400 block of Druid Hill, there are four buildings that are going to be proposed to be converted into 21 units. Historically, these buildings were single family homes. We understand that they're extremely large and that they probably could be broken up into multi-units, but we want responsible development. We do not want 21 units. 21 units are not responsible with eight parking spaces. That's not gonna bring safety to our community. It's not adding amenities for the renters of our community. People want to feel safe. They deserve a community space. They deserve private parking. They deserve a concierge, something that would make them want to stay investing in our city. So I'm asking our councilman, Eric Costello, to please stand with the current investors, the residents of Marble Hill, move our city forward, find the right development for us, for our community. We want young families, we want young professionals, we want students, we want them to come and stay. So we ask you, Mayor Catherine Pugh, please look into this project. It is not a safe, good project for Marble Hill. Um, we want to ask Jack Young to look into this project. It is not safe for our community. We want to move forward with growth. Baltimore deserves better. Um, I want to thank Maryland State for providing dollars through the core program for our master plan for home ownership. And um, I want you, everyone who sees this video, to really look into the Marble Hill community. It is a beautiful place. There are amazing people here, and we love our city. Marble Hill is an incredible place, an incredible place of true history. Thurgood Marshall, Lily Jackson, Clarence Mitchell are just a few people that have come out of this community. And we know that your kids can grow up here and be great too. So we ask you to come here, think about home ownership. There's many programs in Maryland. And I just want to say thank you to Maryland. These are currently the four row homes that have been under the developer's arms for five years. Five years and he has not even fixed the steps. This is not responsible development. 21 units in these four buildings are not responsible. We ask for true investment in our city, allowing our residents to have proper, safe community. There is a hearing on December 5th at 1 p.m in room 215 in City Hall. We ask that you join us. We ask that you support us. We ask that you write to our councilman. Even if you are not in Marble Hill, this affects you. What our city attracts affects you. So we ask for your support. Once again, Mayor Catherine Pugh, Jack Young, we ask that you hold these developers' feet to the fire, that you support your residents that love this city. We need responsible development. We no longer need row homes broken up into multi-units that are saturated and pack people in like sardines. What we need is to create this city into an urban oasis, somewhere that you will love, you will stay, and you will invest in.